Well, here we are. Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.3. I think we're at Walla? Where are we? Walla? I think we're at Walla. So, I just had me a few sips of cognac. Try to calm down because I can't believe what I'm doing today. I actually purchased the. What is it? Drake Caterpillar. You know? And that's a ship that I always swore I'd never get because there's a few ships in the game that I think are so ugly and pointless. You know? Just stupid. So I said I would never, ever, ever, ever get one. And. Oops. <laughs> trip there. Um, and so here I am with the Caterpillar. And first thing we're going to do is get this beautiful beast, the Cyclone. Have you seen that? You guys see that new SRV thing? They said it's a racing machine, a racing, you know, vehicle. <laughs> Dude, you, listen, you go to the beach with a family in an SRV. You don't, I mean, you get into a Cyclone if you want to race, you know? Like, look at this beast. It's beautiful. Look at these massive, you know, I mean, like, futuristic, you know, wheels and, and freaking just the overall the whole design is just screams you know beast racing beast you know the srv it looks like a glorified golf cart that srv i'm sorry no i will never <laughs> don't need it you know i mean i got it's bad enough i got a you know argo cargo it's uh, anyways but look at this look look at this i don't know about this paint job you know it's starting to grow on me but See, I was going to show off. I thought I'd like come over the hill. Like I had this all planned. I was going to come over the hill and like it would be all dramatic and you'd see it and you'd say, whoa, that's pretty cool, you know, because my, my, my epic, um, you know, landing, you know, and uh, in this crazy location. And then I, you know, jump the hill and you'd see this beautiful Drake, uh, you know, caterpillar. But instead, you know, it didn't work out, you know, so it got stuck and there was no way it could flip and correct itself. So here we are. But look, I got diamonds, all these diamonds, like. It just, you know, like the game just provides me with all these emeralds or diamonds, whatever they are. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so, but just have a look at this. The Caterpillar. You know, it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me, you know. It's probably a scam, you know. The Caterpillar. I mean, who wants to fly a, caterp a Caterpillar, you know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, go ahead, let's, let's, let's go ahead and metamorphosis into the, uh, butterfly you know can you imagine if this suddenly had iridescent wings that spanned you know like a thousand yards that'd be awesome that'd be epic the caterpillar transforms into the butterfly where am i i don't even know what planet i'm on so uh in my brain so here we are we're leaving our emeralds all over the ground we're gonna have just a brief look at this caterpillar you know and to be quite honest with you I don't know take a look we're not gonna do a complete like you know ship tour I just want to show because this the, to me it feels like really this is a very like role play ship you know like I don't I don't care about you know I don't I don't care about its actual role in the game all I care about when I when I fly a ship in Star Citizen is how does it make me feel you know if I want to go exploring in a caterpillar great if I want to do combat in a caterpillar great you know I'll do what I want you know nobody tells me what my ship is for but um but this just screams role play and immersion, you know. Like, look at this. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's just got that kind of foggy atmosphere, you know. I think, I think, like the number one role playing ship is that Reclaimer. What is up with this ladder? It doesn't work. I knew it would be a scam. The Caterpillar's a scam. But the Reclaimer just, oh my gosh, forget about it. It wins hands down for role playing i mean as far as immersion and role playing you know feeling like you're really in a sci-fi video game but uh look at this you know really beautiful and you know people said the msr feels like you're in you know just infinite tunnels you know going through the give me a break this is infinite tunnels i mean look at this like how would you even know where you are i, I don't see any numbers to indicate like what section of the ship you're in so oh but look at this isn't that beautiful it's just so, you know, and all the Drake ships are so gritty and industrial, you know, utilitarian. But it just, I don't know. This just really feels like I'm in a space game, you know? Like, I'm the captain of this ship, and this is some serious business. Except, what is this for? You know, you can't, like, access anything. It opens, but you got the rails. Oh, my gosh, this camera. <sighs> camera needs a little work. But, um, you know, I don't know. 
I mean, I like it. I'm glad I can open it, but I don't get what it's for yet. I don't know. There's some things that aren't quite functional. But, and also these doors. What's with the double doors? Like, there's nothing in between. Do you guys know why? Like, is it supposed to be, you know, like an airlock type? I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Like, there's a huge gap between the doors. I don't know. Everything's a scam. But look. Look. Also, is there just this ladder to get down? Like, these things don't descend down. Like, in the... And like in the carrot, you know, you can you have little elevators in these sections to get down. Do you really have to use a physical ladder? Well, whatevs. I wish they'd had ladders on the outside of the ship, you know? Because there's like... CIG is not great with access points on ships. Like, there's usually one on the front or one on the back, not both. And uh, on the larger ships, I'm not talking about fighters or, you know, whatever. Like a... Or a Avenger, but... Better access points would be good, so I don't feel as though I'm scammed. But look at this, look, look, look. My gosh, guys, this is so beautiful. I mean, it really is. I feel like I'm in, oh my gosh, there's that camera again. I feel like I'm in, like, immersed in a space game. Not to mention how freaking, you know what, this isn't Walla, is it? Is it Walla? I don't know where the hell I am, to be honest with you. But, um, it just feels so, uh, you know, look at this. I mean, it's just so immersive and dramatic hmm we're gonna get out of here before some space alien attacks us but i wish right i mean when are we gonna get the aliens i want aliens you know or get one of those uh yetis what are those called the boreal stalkers all those suckers sneak aboard the ship wreak havoc that'd be awesome well the drake caterpillar definitely a scam absolutely i mean just look at it amazing and those little I mean just I just love so much about it you know I thought the asymmetric design I'd hate and uh, and I thought you know this big long asymmetric looking piece of crap and especially this paint that I got what is this paint mystic I don't know mystic warlord camouflage whatever the hell it's called but you know it just I don't know honestly it's beautiful I don't know I'm happy to be scammed what a pleasant scam so beautiful. What else can we mention? Oh, Pyro. You guys see the new worlds and moons? Yep. Biggest scam ever. I can't wait to play it in 2036, to be honest with you. I mean, it's going to be amazing. You know, I'll be dead. But hey, you know, let me know. Let me know uh, how great those planets and moons are in 2036 when we can finally get them. But, uh, you know, chalk that up with the sandworms, right? Sandworms. I'll shut up. But... Man, I just love it. I love it. The Drake Caterpillar. Only in Star Citizen. <laughs>